How y'all doing? Um, you guys probably saw my last poem, which was called Phyllis Wheatley. Um, and you probably noticed that I haven't really properly introduced myself. I go by the name of Review, and I do spoken word poetry here and there. And this one that I'm about to do now is called The Dilemma. Goes like this. This little artist went to the market and the other one chose to stay home. This one's pocket stayed on swole and this one can't pay their student loans. So now, they both own some, I'm better than the rest. I'll empty six clips through your chest and get your girl butt naked so I can dig her down in my bulletproof vest type mess. Or some hoes mad because they low class. I'll make a sex tape with your man, sue you, and take your cash type jazz. All for the fame. Rappers sell their soul for a dollar, but they holler when a female do the same. Why bother? Now I like to see less of that and more intro spit. What's to expect when mainstream culture teaches us to devalue intellect? There's no country for gratitude. We're damned if we don't, and we're damned if we do. Most want to write lines and drop rhymes about smoking pounds instead of dimes. Until it's time to show and prove they stay stumbling over their lies. To save face, pray to God they don't fall from grace. Until that run-up catching that first case displaces the plan B to succeed in a worse way. Now they say, I'm not a killer, but don't push me. A few years ago, they were the last to fight and first to flee. I choose to stick to what I know, because if I don't, one of these days somebody will test and their fakeness is going to show. I know fan bases grow very slow, we become impatient, leaving us quick to spit false shit as long as it sounds sick so we can get rich and complacent. I'm on the road less traveled, and yet I'm still the same as those who fought that internal battle. I want to walk on that official rhyme sayer's carpet, without compromising these thoughts they spark it often. This little artist went to the market, and the other one chose to stay home. This one's pocket stayed on swole, and this one can't pay their student loans.